Hey guys, Bosu Master Trainer Caitlin here, and today I have got a workout to help you bulletproof your knees. This is going to strengthen all those surrounding muscles so you are no longer prone to injury. This is a workout you can do a couple times a week, if not more. In fact, I highly recommend you do this workout a few times a week and add it to your other workouts. All right, here's what you need for today. You are going to need something to elevate the heel. You can use a roll up towel, I'm going to be using a BOSU pod. Okay, you're also going to need a band. I'm going to be using one of BOSU's fabric bands. I'm opting for a light band for today. And you're going to need something to step up onto. You can use a yoga block or I'm going to use a book. Um, ideally, you've just got a step at home, right? So go find an area where you've got a step. Don't make it huge, just a nice little step that you can stand on and step down on. It doesn't have to be a huge range of motion, just something to get you a few inches off the floor. All right, go little scavenger hunt, find what you need, and let's do this. We're gonna be doing 12 reps of every exercise, and we're starting with a basic squat, but we're gonna do it the right way with proper alignment without those knees falling in. So let's start with our feet about shoulder width apart. I want you to squeeze your glutes and then lift your toes off the floor. Squeeze your glutes, lift your toes off the floor. My toes kind of came out a little bit here and that's where I'm gonna feel best in my squat. Now I want you to pretend you're standing on a couple pickle jars, right? So you're pressing down, gripping through the entire foot and your pickle jar gets stuck right about here. So I'm pressing through, open my pickle jars, my knees have automatically fallen into proper alignment. So I'm gonna squat down here, back flat. I'm gonna let my ch chest drop just a little here. And now my knees are in line with my second and third toe, and I'm gonna come right back up. So now we're doing proper squat. Let's go down again, down and up. I'm not letting my knees fall in. This is rep three and up, squeezing the glutes to come up. That's four, down, we got it guys. Belly button's pulled in, five. Six, we're halfway here. Down again, making sure my knees aren't falling in. Eight, don't be uh, mad at me if I miscount. I'm a really bad counter. Nine, we got three more. Ten, last two. Back up, down again, and let it relax. How'd it feel? Feel a little different than it usually does? Now I'm gonna take my band. I'm gonna put it around just above the knee. We're gonna squat again, except now this time we are working against the band. So again, finding about shoulder width, maybe a little wider, squeeze the glutes, let those toes point in the direction they want. For me, it's slightly out, push the band apart, pickle jars under those feet, we squat down and up for one. Same rules apply, except now we've got more resistance. Three, think about inhaling on the way down, exhaling to come up. Four or five maybe, like I said, bad, bad counter. Seven, eight, nine, don't let those knees fall in. 10, 11, last one here, and 12. Excellent, go ahead and drop the band. I'm gonna come all the way down and we're going to stretch the ankle. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna uh, press my foot into the floor here. So I'm in this half kneeling position, driving my ankle, I mean my uh, heel into the ground, and then I'm gonna stretch forward, let that knee come past the toe, and then bring it back, that's one. Down again, two. three, so having that mobility in the ankle, four, is gonna take a lot of the stress off your knees. Five, again, six, go as far as you can before that heel starts to peel off the ground. Seven, eight, nine, 10, two more, falling forward, keeping that heel on the ground, back up, 
and last one here and right back up. We're gonna go to the other side, same thing. So find that half kneeling position, glue that heel to the ground and we fall into it for one and back out. Good, two, three, we got it. Take your time, four, five, again, six, you're halfway here, seven, you might feel that one side is a little tighter than the other, eight, nine, three more, ten, last two, and last one here, fall into it. Good. All right, coming up nice and slow. I'm going to now go for a deeper squat that I did before. I know it's a lot of squats, <laughs> but squats are good. All right, finding that position where I like my squat, squeeze the glutes, and I'm gonna come down this time and try to get as low as I can into that squat before the ankles start to collapse, the feet collapse, the knees collapse and the back starts to round. So find where that is for you and come back up. Down again. Make sure when you come up, your knees don't come in to push you up. So down, keep them pressed apart and up. Use the glutes. Here's number five. Get low. Six, being very aware of those knees falling in. Seven, don't let it happen. Eight. Nine. We got three more. Ten. Can you get lower? Eleven. Last one here. And twelve. Good. We're going to grab that band again. I'm going to put it around my ankles. So just at the ankle here. And we're going to walk, uh, shuffle twice this way, twice this way. So without letting the knees fall in, pushing those knees apart, I'm going to resist the band, walk one, one, other side, two, two, other way, three, three, belly button pulled in, four, Four, I've got a slight bend in the knee. Five, five, we got it. Six, six, you should feel those glutes. Seven, seven, knees don't fall in. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Double check that form. Make sure those knees don't collapse inward, strong through the entire foot and rest. Good, keep the band on. Look at me, I'm a little bit out of breath. Okay, we're gonna go for a multi-angle tap. I'm gonna start with one side, then we'll do the other. I'm gonna tap forward, side, and behind. Each tap is one rep. We'll get to 12, we'll tap forward. Here we go. One, back together, side, two, and then back. Three, again, four, five, Six, I'm not letting this knee fall in. Seven, eight, nine. Here's our last three. 10, 11, and 12. Good, shake it out for just a second. We're gonna go into the other side, forward, side, and back. Here we go. Forward, not letting this knee fall in. Side and back. Again, forward, side, and back. We're halfway here. Forward, side, back. Three more. Forward, side, and back. Let it relax. Did you feel your glutes fire up? You should have. All right, band can be put aside. We're gonna come all the way down onto the knees here. So if you want to make sure you've got something soft under those knees, option to make this harder, we're coming uh, with the toes 
flat on the ground or a little easier, you can curl them under. I'm gonna go for them flat on the ground here. What I'm gonna do, engage the core, tuck the pelvis, nice tight abs here. I'm gonna fall back and come back up. We're using the front of the thighs here. Here we go, falling back and up for one. Again, back, two, three, making sure that belly button's pulled in, you're not arching that back, four, five, six, you're halfway, squeeze the glutes, seven, we're almost done, eight, nine, 10, got a little bit of a shake going on. Last two, 11, last one, 12. Good, shake it out for just a second. Feel the front of those thighs. They definitely worked there. I'm gonna get my step, which is my book. Now, if I wasn't stuck in front of the camera, I'd go outside to my uh, back patio and do this on a step. Again, you can use whatever you've got. You can roll that towel up. So if you don't have a BOSU pod, roll the towel up, put it the back of your book or the back of your step, and you're gonna elevate the heel with it. I'm going to use my pod, put it here, stepping up, and I'm actually gonna turn this way so you guys can see. So now I'm here working one leg, the other leg, is floating out in the air. I'm gonna flex that foot and I'm gonna tap it down in front of me here. So this is my way less stable knee. Down and up, here we go. One, two, all of this is happening without that knee falling in. Three, four, if you're struggling to balance, you can always hold on to something, five, Six, don't let the knee fall in. Seven. Eight. We're almost done. Nine. Ten. Last two. Eleven. And twelve. Good. Shake it out for a second. We are going to switch sides. This is my stronger, more stable leg which is funny, this is the leg I had surgery on, probably because it was taking all the grunt work and because the other knee is not so stable. All right, here we go, dropping it down and up. One, two, we got it, three, four, making sure that knee doesn't fall in, five, six, seven, eight, notice how I'm exhaling, nine, 10, last two, 11, and 12. Awesome job, you guys. That is it for your bulletproof knee workout. I do recommend adding this to your uh, weekly workouts. I would recommend doing it between two and three times a week to start, and then you can progress from there. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.